We're gonna cut all the, oh, we're gonna cut all this, God, no. Then y'all listen, DC is back in the chair, but today for a real haircut, we're gonna give him kind of that Houston, Dallas shag, whatever you want to call it. We're gonna cut the top down all the way to a clipper, texturize the back, and basically it's gonna be like a low on top with a fade on the sides with some texture on the back. So we're gonna start with the number eight and cut it down and see what we get. All right, guys, we're gonna start off with a number eight. I want to play it kind of safe. He had already set a six, but uh, I don't want to do a six and be too short. So we're gonna start off with an eight. You guys see already, it's gonna be low on top. So we're gonna cut it low on top. Connect it into the back, texturize the back, kind of line the front up and get him a little bit, uh, you know, crispier in the front than this kind of loose crop hair line that we had before. So this was his idea. He kind of, I think he sent me a cut online that he liked, and uh, so today we're gonna go for it. So we're gonna cut all the, oh, we're gonna cut all this, God no, we're gonna cut all this down to an eight, and then we'll come in and I'm probably gonna go ahead and start the clipper work on the sides and then we will connect it back and add the texture last. Yeah. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is come in with a guard and try to blend into the top. Kind of have this poof right here, so we're gonna take a number three. And guys, these are my new Marty Blends Skittles colored guards. I've got a lot of people asking me about that. I do have an unboxing soon on these guards if you guys want to check it out. I get a lot of questions about them. I also get a lot of kind of concerns from people that have bought them, but we're going to address all that in the video. So make sure you guys don't miss that. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not, so you guys don't miss that video. I right, guess so we have the panel prep. Now we can come in and set our first guideline. So we're going to come in with these slim lines. We come up over the ear, round it up towards the bottom of this vertical bar. We're going to do kind of a high taper slash burst fade. I don't know what you want to call it, but that's what I call it. Go ahead and ball all this out with our trimmer, and then we'll come in with the shaver underneath, get it down the skin, and we can start the steps of our fade. Alright guys, now we're gonna come in with the Babyless FX. This is the one with the taper blade on it. You guys know I like to do my open section with the taper blade. It is slightly longer than a fade blade or a fusion blade, and so it is gonna make my open section just a little bit longer. That's gonna allow the half guard transition to be a little bit easier. Other than that, you guys can use, you know, obviously you can use whatever clippers you use. I can do it with my fusion blade or my favorite blade or a fade blade, but this is just the system that I use. So there's our open section. Now we'll switch to the boosted with the fusion blade and start taking that line. All right, so we'll start off clipper clothes. Guys, these are my boosted. These do have the fusion blade or the vapor blade. I get a lot of questions about that, guys. It is the same blade, just a different name. I don't know if they somebody had it trademarked or something and they couldn't use the word fusion. So this is the vapor blade or the fusion blade. And you guys can see all the way closed, it will take the line out. Now we'll just open it up slightly. And guys, I do not have the clicks on here. I like to have the floating lever. So I'm about on the second notch probably if I had notches. Now we'll go to the third, a little bit higher. We're just bumping our way up. We, remember, we started with it open, so we're just working our way up until we get all those lines out. Now I'll use it open. Now remember, this open is a little bit shorter than the taper blade, so it's kind of my last step, and it should get out any inconsistencies, and then we can work our way down if we need to and take out any, uh, you know, any dark spots that we don't like. If open didn't get it, here's a dark spot. I go to basically what would be the fourth notch. If that doesn't get it, then I go to what would be the third notch. I just work my way down until you know, this whole area is blended how I want it, so it looks pretty good. I also will go ahead and fade up and connect everything together, and then as we come back down, now, once the fade's pretty much finished, we can polish it up a little bit more as well. All right, next up, guys, one guard all the way open. Go ahead and go up another, you know, three quarters of an inch, get a little skinnier in the back. You guys see when we get to the back, instead of going this way because the hair's growing down, I'm gonna come up using literally like two teeth of the blade just to work my way up into that guideline. And it is a three above it, guys, so we're not traveling too far to blend in, so you should start to kind of get that transition looking like it's finished. And then after this, we'll go ahead and work our way up and then continue to work back down to polish it up and take this last line out. I started with a three, now we'll come in with a number two. It is all the way closed. 
when I get above the two guys, I just use them closed majority of the time. So if I feel like I put a line in or I feel like I need a little bit slightly longer of a length, I will open it up. But majority of the time, it's going to be closed. Same thing back here, guys. We're using just that edge teeth, just a couple teeth on the edge to connect into the back. And then we can clean this up with scissor over comb or something if we need to. I'm just going through one time again. We're not going to see guidelines here. We just want to make sure that we're transitioning into what's above. And then we'll work down from the two and work our way down until we get this last line out. So that's about it for the two. Now we're in with the one and a half halfway open. Just going through. You guys can see a slight line where the open one was. It's not too drastic. So we're just going through with the one and a half. Again, guys, it is half open. That's going to be our sweet spot. And we're just making sure that everything connects together above the one. And then we'll continue to work down and work our way back towards that last line. Now just to be safe, guys, we're going back to the open one, making sure that we tie into the one and a half. I don't want to just go straight in closed. Sometimes I will, depending on the hair texture and you know what cut I'm doing, but you could potentially come in with it closed and just kind of gash what you just did. So that was open, you can see it was safe. Now we'll go right under that with it closed. And guys, if you follow my system, I use the half guard to take this last line out. So no matter what, with the one guard closed, this last line is not gonna come out. So I'm going a little bit higher than the line, knowing that I gotta use the half guard half open and that's going to tie everything else together so you guys can chase this line all day with the one closed and it's not going to go all the way away as long as you understand that we can move through this kind of quickly tie everything together and then we will come in with the half guard next and it will take the very last hint of a line out between these two sections all right so half guard half open guys and you gotta be a little careful with this because we are going up into some dark but you see we're just going to work through here and take any hints of a line that are left from that open section to the closed one so there's usually going to be something and this guard is gonna help polish that out. Again, it is half open, guys. I'm gonna do a video here soon on why the half guard and the one and a half need to be half open. I'm kind of figuring out how I'm gonna break that down for you guys. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed if that is something that you wanna learn. You guys can see the half guard, half open, tying all this together. A couple spots I'm gonna to touch up, but we're basically done with this side. We'll go ahead and move on to the other side and do the same exact steps. And then when we turn the back, I will get back together with you guys, show you how we're gonna texturize the back. spray a little bit of hairspray holding spray whatever you want to call it on his front hairline just to make sure that all those hairs are gonna stay where I want them so I can come in and edge that front up so we're not gonna give him a crazy box but we do want to clean it up and make it look you know nice and consistent all right, guys, we have the back saturated. We're gonna add some texture while kind of connecting it here. So as I start my razor work, I'm gonna kind of cut it shorter at the top and get longer at the bottom. I'm using my finger razor. Guys, I only have about 20 of these left on the website, and then I'm shutting down the website. So if you guys want one, head over there right now and cop one. Chunkatera.com, it is on the homepage. You guys can grab one. It's just your traditional feather razor, but it goes on your finger, as you guys can see, and then you can use it that way. So I'm just taking a vertical section. I'm gonna pull it out. We're gonna just kind of try to balance it a little more because it's it is so short on top. So I'm gonna pull it out. At the top here, I'm gonna cut it short. 
And as I work my way down, I will pull it out and get a little bit longer. We should have a guide as we work down. You see the hair falling out, work our way down. And then at the bottom, it will be the longest. We're just slightly getting longer at the bottom just to kind of keep that mullet shape. So we did one section. Now we'll just add to that, work our way over, add texture all the way through the back. And now we'll have a guide, a clear guide next to it. When we grab it, you can see falling out. Work your way down. Probably do like three panels over to the left side and then do three more going towards the right, towards the camera. And we'll be done texturizing the back and we can uh, move on to the front hairline and the finished style. Okay, so we're gonna do the front hairline. Obviously, it's a little higher up in the corner. So we have to start here and we're gonna work our way towards the middle. And then we'll obviously take a little more off the front to get that shape. We're not gonna give him like just a square box, but obviously it is low enough. We wanna kind of straighten it up. So I'm just starting here. Then I'll move around to his front and hit the front a little bit. We'll work our way over to the other corner. I'll just work our way around. A little bit more off the front, work our way up to the other side. We'll pretty much be done. We'll add a little product and you guys can check out the finished finish product. We're just gonna do a slight enhancement just to kind of make this design pop and then he could use a little help in the corners. So just a slight enhancement. This is 245 no drip. This is the Onyx Black. Just kind of enhancing this, this line right here. We'll go ahead and hit the design line as well. Just to make it pop a little bit, right? So. Now we'll just give him a little help up here underneath where his hair is light. Probably hit it with some fibers as well. This is gonna kind of create a shadow underneath just so it looks a little more natural. Now you see when we comb it down, it's kind of got some support underneath. So again, the idea here is not to have him just like super extra crispy. Just a little, little help underneath the light spots. And you guys can see what that did as we comb it down. Way better, way fuller. Now we will uh, hit this bottom line of the design a little bit. We'll move on to the other side and enhance that. Throw some products in it and you guys can check it out. for the cut. I don't know what we're gonna call it. We're gonna call it the Kentucky Shag. Eight on top, mullet in the back. Oh my God, DC, a little part on the side. Just leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. You guys have seen this cut before. So did you like it better with the crop on top? Do you like it better with the eight on top? His girl's about to freak out, I think. But I definitely like it like this. I think it looks good. If you guys do like the cut, definitely smash that thumbs up and let me know down below. Make sure you guys are subscribed. I got plenty more content coming where this came from. As always, I appreciate all you guys watching my content, and I'll catch you guys next time.